What's happening, guys? Classic Chris here with another episode of Wrestling Talk. And on today's episode, we're talking about the world-class maniac, Eric Young, making his NXT debut. It's May the 4th. That's right. May the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day, everybody. Happy Star Wars Day, everybody. The only way you miss this breaking news is if you've been living under a rock this past week. But Eric Young is finally a member of the NXT roster. WWE has been on fire scooping up all the elite free agent talent. And tonight, we finally get to see Eric Young on WWE television. They've been teasing us all week with tweets about EY's debut. Now we finally get to see it. I've been watching EY for years. And... I go back with this guy. I used to watch him in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, going to wars with Danger Boy Derek Wilde over the Neo Spirit Pro Wrestling Championship. Like I said, guys, I am beyond excited for tonight's episode of NXT because EY, hands down, is one of my favorite wrestlers to watch of all time. Eric Young is just a class act in the ring. He's entertaining. He's crisp. He knows what the hell he's doing. And speaking of knows, knows what the hell he's doing, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but Eric Young was the teacher of the Perfect Ten, Ty Dillinger. And if you're a fan of Ty Dillinger and like the way he works, we can thank Eric Young for training that man. Eric Young taught that guy everything that Ty Dillinger knows about wrestling. But that's a story for another day because tonight it's all about EY and him being on NXT. Like, this is long overdue. Um, TNA lost out huge when they let EY go. Um, there's nothing I could say about that. Like, uh... Dixie Carter, or whoever's in charge of the, the roster, you screwed up big time letting EY go because right now, he's a member of NXT, and I see big things happening for this guy because, like I said before, he was one of those elite free agents, and now he's taken off the market. TNA, you had this guy. You've had him for 15 years. You used him right. You used him well. But you just couldn't hold him. And you know what happens? You're not going to realize what you have until it's gone. And now look at it. Tonight, we are going to see Eric Young debut in the WWE. Now, let's run down the list of all the the top TNA talent that they have lost and now are on WWE. Uh, we have Austin Aries, Samoa Joe, Eric Young now, AJ Styles. Now, I'm only naming these guys because I'm just going to leave this list short and sweet because I could probably go on for an hour on this. But I don't know what TNA was thinking letting wrestlers of this caliber slip through your fingers. You had such a good roster, so to rival the WWE, but you lost them. And now, they're in the big leagues, they're making the money, their paychecks aren't bouncing in the WWE. And EY on NXT, it's just huge. I am so excited for tonight, and I want to know, guys, are you happy to see EY a part of NXT? I personally think he should have went on the main roster, but with losing guys like Enzo and Cass, um, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and pretty soon you're going to lose Finn Balor. So, bringing a guy like EY, I'll take that trade six ways to Sunday. I'm just telling you guys. Now I want to know, what do you think about EY coming into NXT? Uh, would you rather see him on the main roster? How do you think the WWE is going to use him? Leave a comment with your thoughts. Like the video. Subscribe. Remember to keep watching Wrestling Talk with Classic Chris.